In this video, we're going to do an example of drawing a Bode plot given a transfer function. So this transfer function is 10 times 0.1 j omega plus 1 over j omega plus 1 times 0.02 j omega plus 1. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite it a little bit slightly here. We know that 0.1 is the same as 1 tenth. So this is going to be the same thing as 1 plus j omega over 10. This one is just 1 plus j omega over 1. There's nothing there. And then we also have 0.02 is the same as 1 50th. So this is going to be 1 plus j omega over 50. Now, what this is telling us is since we're in the standard format of 1 plus j omega over a number, these are going to be our break frequencies. So we have break frequencies here. On the numerator, it's going to be 10. and the denominator, 1 and 50. So if I look at each term individually, if I have just 20 log of k, in this case 10 here, well, log of 10 is 1 times 20 is 20. So the Bode plot for the first one here is just going to be a nice horizontal line at 20. Then for the term where I have the 20 log of the absolute value, 1 plus j omega over 10, we saw in the previous video where when you have one plus term, it starts out at zero until it reaches the break frequency of 10 here, at which point it starts going up at a slope of 20 decibels per decade. However, when I look at the denominator ones, so this would be minus sign because they're on the denominator, right? Logs in the denominator become subtraction. So 20 log of absolute value, one plus j omega over one. So when I look at this graph here, it's going to start out flat as all the 1 plus j omegas do. When it reaches the break frequency of 1, since it's the denominator, it's going to go down at negative 20 decibels per decade. And the last one, which is also in the denominator, minus 20 log of 1 plus j omega over 50. This time, my break frequency is over at 50 here starts out flat, and then goes down. So now when I want to put this all together and draw my final Bode plot, we go ahead and say, okay, we know that at the beginning, the, the log one pluses are all going to be zero. All, right? all these are zero here. So adding up zero plus zero plus zero doesn't do anything. So it's just going to be the first one, which is going to be starting out at 20 and it's going to be flat. Now I have three different break frequencies. One is at one. One is going to be at 10, which is one decade more. And the third one's at 50, which is not a whole decade. It's going to be maybe somewhere around here. So just keep that in mind that we're not going to go a whole decade there. So we start out flat. Once I reach the uh, break frequency of one, that came from over here, that means I'm going to start going down, and I'm going down 20 decibels per decade. What that means is in one decade, from 1 to 10, I'm going to go down 20. Since I start out at 20, this is going to go all the way straight down here to 0. At that point, I get a second break frequency of 10 right here, which means I'm now going to add 20 to the slope. Well, if the slope was negative 20 and I add 20 to it, that means my slope is zero, which means it's going to be flat. So this part has an M equals zero. And then once I reach to 50 here, M equal to 50, sorry, omega equals to 50. So omega here. Then I reach the last break frequency, which is on the negative part which means it's going to start going down now. 
And this right here is going to be our graph. This is the Bode plot that I would be looking for on this problem. It starts out flat at 20. It starts going down the slope of negative 20 at 1. One decade later at 10, it's going to have a slope of 0. And then not a whole decade, only to 50, it's going to break down and have a slope of negative 20. So whenever I, I see graphs, I want to see where is it flat, where is it at an angle, I want to know what the slopes are, and I want to see all the break frequencies appropriately marked to get the full picture of the Bode plot.